Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about types of magnetic material. This class is for fourth third semester electrical engineering diploma students, and uh, we will now discuss about types of magnetic material. In the previous class, we have already discussed what are the magnetic material, and what uh, in today we will discuss about their classification. Classification of magnetic materials. Mm. Uh, first, we are going to discuss about your diamagnetic materials. Diamagnetic materials. These are the materials in which it bears the property in which the magnetic moment is opposed or in uh, moves in the opposite direction of magnetic field. In, a, in case of diamagnetic materials, the phenomena by which the, the EMF um, the induced magnetic moment, the magnetic moment induced in the diamagnetic material um, uh, is always in the opposite, is always in the opposite direction of the applied magnetic field. In case of diamagnetic material, the induced magnetic moment, the induced magnetic moment is always in the opposite direction of the applied magnetic field. Here I can take the example, if magnetic field is in this direction, if we are applying the magnetic field in this direction, then the magnetic in induced moment, the magnetic moment is moves in this direction in opposite direction opposite direction in case of diamagnetic material in case of diamagnetic material the induced magnetic movement is always in the opposite direction of applied magnetic field and in case of diamagnetic material having negative susceptibility these have the negative susceptibility is called a diamagnetic material further for the diamagnetic material each atom has no permanent magnetic moment in case of diamagnetic material each atom has no certain permanent magnetic moment next going for your diamagnetic materials we will discuss about the number of orientations of electronic orbits which as we can call the outermost orbit is an atom of the diamagnetic material it's such that the vector sum of magnetic moment is zero in case of diamagnetic material the uh, number of orientation orientation of electronic orbits in an atom of the diamagnetic materials in such a that the vector sum of the magnetic moment is is equal to zero then the external field here you can see the external field will cause a rotation of action on the individual electronic orbits this produces an induced magnetic moment which is the direction of opposite to the magnetic field and hence it tends to decrease the magnetic induction present in an specimen if you are taking a specimen if you are taking an example of the diamagnetic materials then in the applied induced magnetic movement is moves to the opposite of the um, electricity opposite of the magnetic field applied to the specimen or it tends to decrease the magnetic induction present in the example pre present in the specimen next going to the next point the ordinary material which has no repulsion or attraction of magnetic flux of lines when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field but there is a repulsion of magnetic flux from the center of the material indicating the diamagnetic behavior of the material if we will try to in non magnetizing material to get magnetized you have we have to place it between magnetic line um, field then a force of repulsion or attraction for the magnetic flux is induced flux is line when displaced in a uniform magnetic field but there is a repulsion of magnetic flux 
from the center of the material indicating the diamagnetic behavior of a material next going to next we will show that the diamagnetic material repel magnetic lines of force here you can see if if magnetic field is applied in this direction this direction then the magnetic movement induced magnetic movement will move in this direction which this property bears the diamagnetic material this is called the diamagnetism property of a magnetic material diamagnetic materials repel magnetic lines of force repel when if the magnetic lines of force moves in this direction then the diamagnetic material is moves in opposite direction that is the basic property of a diamagnetic material there are no permanent dipoles consequently magnetic effects are very small very magnetic effects are small in case of diamagnetic materials generally the value of a diamagnetic susceptibility is independent of temperature and applied magnetic field strength these are the two factors applied magnetic field strength and temperature the susceptibility of a diamagnetic material is independent that means it doesn't depend on these two factor which is a temperature and a magnetic field strength next we can take an example of organic material light elements alkali earth bismuth nobium and it's, these are the various example of a diamagnetic material which exhibits the diamagnetic property of a magnetic material next we are going to discuss about the paramagnetic materials paramagnetic materials first of all we have to know that what property it exhibits a paramagnetic material what property it exhibits the paramagnetism is the phenomena by which the orientations of magnetic movements are largely dependent on the temperature and the applied field in case of diamagnetic material we have previously discussed that it is independent of temperature and applied magnetic field but in case of paramagnetic materials it we obey the it obeys the property or it depends on the temperature and the applied electro applied magnetic field next if the applied magnetic field energy is greater than the thermal energy the magnetic movement of the material is finite and large then the number of orientations the number of orientations of a orbital and spin magnetic movements be such that the vector sum of the magnetic movement the vector sum of the magnetic movement is not zero but in case of diamagnetic material the vector sum of the magnetic moment is become zero but in case of ferromagnetic material the vector sum is not zero and there is a resultant magnetic moment in each atom even in the absence of a applied field then if we apply an external magnetic field there is an enormous magnetic moment along the field direction and the magnetic induction will increase in case of a paramagnetic materials and in paramagnetic materials it exhibits a force of attraction between the applied magnetic field and the induced um, um, induced um, uh, magnetic uh, like so force or induced um, um, magnetic uh, moment the paramagnetic materials attract magnetic lines of force if we are consider the direction of magnetic field if we consider a magnet let us consider let us i am considering here a magnet in this magnet if the magnetic lines of force moves in this direction then then the induced magnetic moment will also moves in same direction that implies the in case of paramagnetic materials uh, the um, uh, force of attraction exhibit between the paramagnetic materials and the magnetic field but in an um, 
uh, it uh, attracts each other next going to the next slide we will observe that the value of the paramagnetic susceptibility are independent of applied magnetic field and depends greatly on temperature in case of paramagnetic material the value of susceptibility is greatly depends on temperature you can say directly proportional to the temperature whereas and you can represent the sus magnetic susceptibility x is equal to c t minus t c by t minus theta t is your temperature where c is the curie constant and theta is the curie temperature a curie temperature means we can say it is the highest temperature in which, in which attains the magnetic susceptibility uh, um, uh, in case of paramagnetic material the susceptibility is highly depends upon the temperature and it is a uh, curie temperature we can say when the temperature t is less than the curie temperature of the material it is converted into diamagnetic if if we are converting a paramagnetic material into diamagnetic material when the temperature t is less than the curie temperature then the material is converted to diamagnetic material these materials are used in uh, um, in day to day life the application of diamagnetic materials we can say in lasers masers and one can create the required energy levels of transitions paramagnetic property of oxygen is used in nuclear magnetic resonance imaging the instrument which is to be diagnose the brain tumor blood clotting in the brain and the uh, etc various medical applications in which these magnetic materials are helpful next going to the examples of a paramagnetic material you can say alkali metals such as sodium uh, potassium and transition metals chromium and yttrium these are the example of a paramagnetic material next is your ferromagnetic material ferromagnetic material is further divided that is ferrimagnetic ferromagnetic but uh, we will now focus on ferromagnetic material and their properties the ferromagnetic materials we can say that is a strong force of attraction between the magnetic field and the magnetic moment uh, we can say uh, it is strongly uh, attraction forces exhibit the ferromagnetism is a phenomenon by which the spontaneous magnetization occurs in case of ferromagnetism uh, even in the absence of a applied field then the magnetic moment are enormous ferromagnetism arises when the exchange energy is favorable for the spin element if the magnetic field is applied in, in a material in this direction and um, the magnetic moment also moves in and there is a strong force of attraction strongly force of attraction strongly bonded or attached we can say it is strongly bonded or strongly attached in case of ferromagnetic materials ferromagnetism arises when the exchange of energy is favorable for spin alignment if a material acquires a relatively high magnetization in a weak field then it is not a paramagnetic material magnitude of susceptibility is very large and positive when temperature is greater than curie point that then it converted to into a paramagnetic material we have already previously discussed that when the temperature is less than the curie point a paramagnetic material is converted to a diamagnetic material but in this case when the temperature is here you can see the temperature is greater than the curie point the curie temperature tc tc is the curie temperature when the um, temperature is greater than the curie point then it is converted into paramagnetic materials these are all about your diamagnetic ferromagnetic and paramagnetic materials with
this we will complete the types of magnetic materials and we will continue with the same chapter in our next video. Thank you all.